Hello dear students, myself Sunil Kumar Jadav. Welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, we are going to learn about one important chapter that is periodic classification of elements. This chapter is of science subject standard 10th. My humble request to all my viewers that like this video and help me to grow my subscriber by suggesting your friend to subscribe my channel so that it can motivate me to make more and more videos regarding this. Let us begin with chapter 5 periodic classification of element. This is part 1. Periodic classification of elements. In class 9th, we already learned that matter around us is present in the form of elements, compound and mixtures and the element contain atoms of only one type. Do you know how many elements are known till date? At present there are 114 elements are known to us as it is written in the textbook but right now we know that all the elements that is 118 are find out. Around the year 1800 only 30 elements were known. All these had seemingly different properties you know that all elements must have different kind of property that's why they differ from each other as different elements were being discovered scientists gathered more and more information about the properties of these elements they found in difficult to organize all known elements at that time you know that when the elements were find out at that time it is very difficult to arrange them so, they were finding out the ways to arrange them in a proper manner. They started looking for some pattern in their properties on the basis of which they could study such large number of elements with S. So, this is what they were doing. As we know that even whatever we are finding out, even we are looking for the books. So, we are arranging the books in a particular shelf so that we can arrange, we can, uh, we should get that book easily you know in particular library also we know somewhere we are keeping literature somewhere we are keeping novels somewhere we are keeping story books and that way so similar way this periodic classification should be done so that it can easily understand it can easily learn so point 5.1 that is making order out of chaos early attempts at the classification of elements we have been learning how various things or living beings can classify it on basis of their properties. We know that all the different living beings are to be classified in a different way. We know the living organisms are mainly classified into two categories that is plant and animal. Or we can say that it has been mainly classified into eukaryotes and prokaryotes as we have already learned in the biology. Similar way. The periodic classification of element means whenever the elements are find out at that time the scientists were thinking how to arrange them. So that chaos were solved by the earlier attempt of the scientists to classify the element. Even in other situation we come across instances of the organization based on some properties. For example in shop soaps are kept together at one place while biscuits are kept together elsewhere we know that even if you are visiting the dmart or any other shop at a time you know that there are specific rack or specific places where different kind of things are to be kept like soaps are at particular places or even if you'll see the biscuits are at a different place similar way masala are at the different places and the different kind of things like eating items at the different uh, place uh, Clothes are at a different section. So they are arranging it in a proper way. Even if we are thinking about a soap, soaps are arranged in such a way that one particular rack must be there which would be of the bathing soap and another would be of the washing soap. Similarly, scientists made several attempts to classify elements according to their properties and obtain an orderly arrangement of the elements which makes it order out of the chaos. The earliest attempt to classify the elements resulted into grouping them known elements as metals and non-metals. The first attempts were done and that elements were classified into two main categories that is one is metal and another one is 
non-metals. They have been classified in this particular way. Later, further classification were tried out as our knowledge of elements and their properties increases. So first attempts has been done by one of the scientists that we are going to learn here that is 5.1.1 that is Dobreiner's trites. First scientist who classified the element is Dobreiner. First of all, we'll learn who is Dobreiner and we'll gather information regarding this scientist that is Dobreiner. Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner studied as a pharmacist at Munchberg in Germany and then studied chemistry at Strasbourg. Eventually, he became a professor of chemistry and pharmacy at University of Jena. Dobreiner, Dobreiner made the first observation on platinum as a catalyst and discovered the similar triads of the elements which led to the development of the periodic table of elements. So this is what we have learned about Dobreiner. Now we will see the Dobreiner stride means classification of element as per the classification of Dobreiner that is Dobreiner strides in year 1817. Year 18. 17. Dobreiner, German chemist, tried to arrange the elements with similar properties into group. He identified some groups having three elements each. So he called this group as a triad. Triad means what? He has classified them in manner of three three elements in a particular manner. That's why he has given the name that is Dobreiner's prides. Dobreiner showed that when the three elements in a triad were written in order of increasing atomic masses. The atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the atomic masses of other two elements. Let us learn this by one of the example that is Dobreiner's triad. I will write it one thing that I will make the group that is group A and I will write its atomic masses. At that time that atomic number was not known so he has classified the element on the basis of the atomic mass. So that way we will see group A in which he has taken the triad of three element one is lithium another one is sodium and potassium. We will write its atomic masses atomic mass of this lithium is 6.9 this sodium is 23 and this potassium is 39. So now let us see this by calculator and we'll find out that the average mass of two elements that is lithium and potassium is the mass of sodium. Let us see this one lithium 6.9 6.9 plus 39 45.9 divided by 2 which is 22.95 you can see which is near about 23 22.95 is near about 23 so we can see that the atomic mass of the middle element that is of the sodium is roughly the average of the atomic masses of other two means if we will take the average of this two it is roughly about this one it is 22.95 which is almost equal to 23 so this way he has been classified that another group is that I will take group B. Atomic mass. Uh, first element I will write that is calcium. Second one cerium. And third one barium. I will write its atomic masses that is 40.1. This is 137.3. And this is 87.6. We need to go nearer by this one means almost the average must be nearer to this one roughly not exactly remember this thing we will see 40.1 40.1 plus what about barium it is 137.3 137.3 
divided by 2. So it is 88.7 which is near about this 87.6. So this is how we can say that the average of this two is roughly near about the, uh, the middle element. I will take the third group that is group C. In that I will write the element first I will write the atomic mass. Group C in which we will take calcium, Br and iodine. This is 35.5 for chlorine. This is 79.9 bromine and iodine is 126.9. Let us see again. We will see the average of this chlorine and iodine which is nearer by to this bromine. 35.5, 35.5 plus 126.9 divided by 2 so which is around 81.2 which is nearer to this 79.9 so average of this 2 will be this atomic mass of the bromine if we will take one another example and we will try to look at is it possible for all so that is calcium sorry calcium cerium we have already taken nitrogen Phosphorus and AS. Let us see for this. This is 14, this is 31, and this is 74.9. I will try to find out is it possible that average of these two is the middle one? Let us try. Let us try for this. It is 14 plus 74.9 divided by 2 which is 44.45 which is so much away from this 31 so this is not the triad so at that time he got the three triads this is these are the three triad group a group b and group c in that he has find out the average of this two will be the average atomic mass of the middle element so the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the atomic masses of the other two element he got this three group group a group b and group c in that this triad rule has been implemented you will find the group that is group a group b and group c all these three Dobener could identify only three triads from the element known at that time. Hence, the system of classification into triad was not found to be useful. He has done the first attempt to classify the element and he has classified the element into triads to making three. That is triad. One, two and three. Tri. So, it is called triad. And he has written the rule that average of two element is the roughly average of or we can say average of two atomic masses of the element is the average of the roughly average of the middle element and he has find out this three but the limitation of his triad is that he uh, at that time only few elements were known but Dobriner could identify only three triad group A, group B and group C only three triads were identified at that time that they have this kind of rule hence the system of classification into triad was not found to be useful so he has done the first attempt but he was failed to classify them in a proper manner because he has only this three group which has been under the Dobriner triad so this limitation is there due to that it was failed and the next other scientists were tried for furthermore we will see in the next episode about Newland's law of octave which is also there and it has also the limitations for that. See you in the next video as I gave you the target at least 100 likes must be there for this video. Please students help me to grow this and like this video and subscribe my channel. Ask your friend also to subscribe so I can it can motivate me to make more and more videos. Thank you so much.